Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the reasons as to why I believe Litecoin will hit $1,000 within 2018. Firstly, looking at the technology that drives Litecoin. In comparison to Bitcoin, Litecoin is able to process more transactions in a more timely manner. And this is a significant improvement over Bitcoin. Um, at the moment, Bitcoin uh, has large um, waiting times for confirmation of blocks, whereas Litecoin has a relatively fast uh, transaction turnaround of around 2 minutes and 25 seconds, which is causing a lot of havoc at the moment in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency community. So something that's definitely important and is what has driven the Litecoin price up in recent times. Also, the transaction fees associated with Litecoin are significantly less than Bitcoin's. Uh, I was able to transfer Litecoin the other day for around 30 cents, whereas if I was to transfer the same amount of Bitcoin, it would have cost me around 10 to $12. So far more efficient in that sense. And I have seen or heard within the community as well that people are using Litecoin to transfer their funds between exchanges as opposed to Bitcoin, just due to the exchange fees associated with transferring Bitcoin being exceedingly high. Also, if we just look at coin market cap here, the Litecoin price on the charts, um, over the last month, let's say, we've seen a significant rise in the uh, Litecoin price. Uh, this is due to the reasons just discussed around its superior technology in comparison to Bitcoin around transaction times and fees associated with those transactions. And I can see this particular trend, upwards trend, um, continuing into 2018 very strongly. We have seen a recent uh, consolidation and a bit of a correction amongst all cryptocurrencies, which is nice to see. It's a healthy correction. And now we can see we're bouncing back just up here and we're looking for an upwards trend within 2018. Um, and so it's definitely something to look forward to. And it's great to see that Litecoin has been performing so well so far. And now just looking at here, we can see the current Litecoin price is $275 and we've got a circulating supply of 54 million and a max supply of 84 million. And so this is larger than Bitcoin's. Um, however, if we just look at Bitcoin as well, we've got a $14,000 um, value for each Bitcoin. We've got 16 million, uh, 16 million Bitcoins in circulation and 21 as max supply. I was just doing a few calculations here. Firstly, we were, I was just comparing the circulating supply against Bitcoin and Litecoin. And we can see here, here's the Bitcoin uh, circulating supply and the Litecoin. We can see there's a 224% um, percent increase between the two supplies. Um, circulating supplies, whereas if we look at the price difference, and I've also done a calculation on this, Litecoin sitting at $275 and $14,000 for Bitcoin respectively, and the increase between that is $4,990, and that's significantly more than the percentage increase between the circulating supply. So what that demonstrates to me is that there is definitely room for Litecoin to grow in comparison to Bitcoin. I understand that Bitcoin was the original uh, cryptocurrency and definitely has a store of value. Um, but that percentage increase, 224 in comparison to 4,990, is a bit large, and I could definitely see that gap closing, and therefore uh, Litecoin's price is likely to at least reach $1,000 within 2018, um, which is a, a strong indicator of what we can expect. Also, looking at when Litecoin was uh, came into the market, so if we just go uh, all time here, Litecoin's been around since late 2013, or early 2013 rather, so if we just go down here, yeah, so it's around 2013 uh, when it started being listed. It had a strong community behind it at the start. It was one of the um, original cryptocurrencies. A lot of people got behind it. It's a well-known name. It's available on a lot of exchanges. One of the biggest exchanges being GDAX. It's been listed there for a while. People understand Litecoin when you talk about it. It's got um, a strong household name in that sense, which is nice. Uh, meaning that people are aware of it, understand that it has value, which also helps to ensure that that price is going up to the future and people are more likely to place money behind it. And also we've got, it's clear here that we've, as spoken about before, we've got the maximum supply of 84 million. And as we um, slowly go towards that maximum supply, um, the de supply will reduce because we are hitting it and the rate in which people are able to obtain new Litecoins will decrease. Uh, the demand will continue to increase and as a result of that, we should see a sharp increase in the Litecoins price. 
Also looking at the um, creator of Litecoin, Charlie Lee, I've spoken about him a couple of times in a bunch of other videos here. He's a strong influencer within the cryptocurrency community. He's, got, he's well versed in computer science. He understands cryptocurrencies very well. He's been in the game for a long time. He's got a major voice within the cryptocurrency community, as you can see with the followers at 429k. And he's also got a strong vision for Litecoin going forward, um, as he's demonstrated in a number of interviews he's had. And he's also uh, spoken about how Bitcoin um, and Litecoin aren't actually competing against each other in a sense. And that stems from him building it such that the miners for Litecoin will not compete against Bitcoin in the sense that they use different proof of work systems. Also, Charlie uh, launched uh, Litecoin in a way that it was fair and open to the community, meaning that there was no pre-mining available for this particular coin. So that integrity aspect of the coin is strong, uh, which people are likely to go behind. Uh, also, he got reflecting on how he built it, how it's not competing against Bitcoin. He envisioned Bitcoin as a way in which you can purchase large assets, such as homes and cars, whereas Litecoin, due to its faster transaction rates and its lower fees associated with it, uses more of an everyday currency and so that would be uses of buying coffee purchasing lunch those sort of things and so i guess because it's not competing with such a juggernaut of a cryptocurrency um, the price rise of bitcoin shouldn't pull litecoin's price down and i think that's something to uh, definitely look into in the sense that i can see bitcoin's price going up in the future but also mean that litecoin's price will not be affected by that and therefore will have room to grow Finally, we've also seen the, the recent uh, listing of Bitcoin futures on CBOE, which is the Chicago Board Options Exchange. Um, it was a large success. The Bitcoin saw a significant jump in, around 18% once it was listed, which was a significant jump of the price at the time, which is um, amazing. And looking to the future, I assume that uh, CBOE is going to look for other coins to list due to the success of Bitcoin. And obvious candidates for this are Litecoin and Ethereum, those sort of things. And in the event that Litecoin did get listed on something like CBOE, uh, we could definitely see strong rallying behind it from institutional investors who will pump a lot of money into this space and this particular coin, driving the price up to well over a thousand dollars. And so that's also something that um, I believe will be a strong factor for pushing this coin um, upwards of a thousand dollars. Thank you so much for listening. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video.